Welcome to the Band in a Box Audio Driver Setup Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will help you set up your audio playback from within Band in a Box. Real tracks and real drums play through your sound card. This means that if you do not have the correct audio driver selected, there will be no audio for these. Band in a Box supports three audio driver types, MME, ASIO, and new to Band in a Box 2018, WAS. To choose your audio driver type, click Options, select MIDI Audio Driver Setup, and then select Audio Settings. MME is your first audio driver choice. Under Audio Driver Type, select MME. In the Audio Drivers window, select Microsoft Sound Mapper for your audio input and output drivers. This uses the driver selected in your Windows System Preferences. If you have a driver other than Microsoft Sound Mapper selected, Band in a Box will use that driver for audio and DXI synth playback. You may want to use an ASIO driver instead. You can select your ASIO driver by following the same steps. The main advantage of using ASIO over MME in Band in a Box is that it allows you to play live from an external MIDI device through DXI synth with very low latency, but usually can only be used with one program at a time. If you have an audio interface that uses ASIO drivers, it is important to download the most recent ASIO drivers from the sound card manufacturer's website. If you would like to use a universal driver, ASIO for all can be downloaded from the internet and has been used successfully with most computer setups and audio interfaces as well. Your third and most recommended option for audio driver is WAS, Windows Audio Session. A driver with ultra low latency so audio operations like playing or sending out information via MIDI happen with no noticeable delay. You can select the WAS audio driver with the same method shown with the previous drivers. When using Windows Audio Session driver, you may receive an error message stating that your input and output sample rates do not match. This can be fixed very easily. Select Audio Driver in the Audio Settings window. You will notice that your input and output sample rates do not match. Select Open Windows Sound Control Panel. I have speakers selected for playback, so I will double click on speakers. And then select the Advanced tab. Now we want our output sample rate to match our input sample rate, so I will change it to 48,000 and then press Apply. You can also change the sample rate for your input device by selecting the Recording tab in Windows Sound Control Panel and following the same steps. Thanks for watching the Band in the Box Audio Driver Setup Tutorial. Have fun!